If you're interested in learning how reading is really helping me um, with my stress reduction, mental clarity, um, and all the things books, just stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know you guys think I'm pretty crazy, but literally what you just watched is how I end my night. Um, if this is your first time watching me, thank you, welcome, welcome. Join the friend circle, we are friends over here. But anyway, let's get into this video, you guys. Literally, you guys, I am reliving my high school days. I was literally the girl that you, you, I read at lunchtime, I read during class, like I would have my textbooks open and I would have a book in between. My English teachers would be like, sustain, start, sustain silent reading time. And before they could finish saying the reading time, I would have my book out and already ready to read. And the people, my classmates would be like, only Amela enjoys these times. I love to read. But life, life, life happens. We go out, we try to learn new things, meet new people. We, you know, we try, we, we, we outside, right? So that has really fallen to the wayside. I've still always read um, something, but I've never really gotten back into like reading, reading. And I'm getting back into reading, reading, you guys. Like I have been having the time of my life. So let's get into, you know, literally, let's just talk about it. I have all my books here. I'm so excited for this video. I love, love reading. So anyway, you guys, in this video, we're really going to talk about how I use book for self-care, relaxation, self um, stress reduction, and how I have incorporated that with my children. This is not nothing new. I just am sharing this with you. I've always read with my children. My children read all the time, um, especially in the summertime. I'm that mom that will set out a schedule for you guys you guys are going to have reading time um i used to look forward to sustained silent reading in school that was my time to like not have to worry about what the teachers will pick up my book and be reading so yeah you guys um reading for me is something that is really sacred and creates like a tranquility that like helps me sleep and stuff and there's multiple of other things but some of the benefits that i have found in reading and i've kind of discovered this like I want to say in high school, I don't think I fully understood all of it, but now in my adult years, now I'm like, oh, this is like, this is actually true. This is actually true. Like mental stimulation. Reading stimulates your brain. We all know this. Do we all know this though? Do y'all know that? Reading stimulates the brain and it keeps it active. And honestly, studies have shown that people that read, that's why you see adults and older adults do Sudoku, Sudoku, um, because like it stimulates your brain and keeps your mind focused and going. Um, that's another point for reading. reading. Reading helps you with concentration and focus. Excuse me. It also helps you gain knowledge. You know, reading helps you gain knowledge. Reading helps with gaining and learning new vocabulary words. Well, I always say um, SAT word because I, when I use a big word, I'll be like, oop, the essay, I've dropped the SAT word on you. But literally, you guys, reading and books helps expand your vocabulary. Adults and children, we're always learning. Um, we don't learn as fast as obviously our children, but we are always learning. We are always gaining knowledge. So reading obviously is always going to be something that's going to be something that you can benefit from um a good book does that for me a good book allows me to just escape everything if i'm feeling overwhelmed or overstimulated because as moms and as adults we do get overstimulated it's not just young children that get overstimulated reading a book or picking up a book that i really like or i've been looking forward to reading really does help me with that now 
benefits for my children that I have found, you guys. And I, like I said, I have two children. One's 12, one's five, recently turned five. But because I incorporated reading with them, and still to this day, in some aspect, incorporated, even if they're reading on the tablet, I have Vooks which is a books app for my daughter that we kind of do sometimes if I'm too lazy or we don't have a certain book here that she wants to read and I can download it. Um, I'll do Vooks with her um, because I also have the Kindle app, but we'll go into all that in a second. But some of the really big benefits I have found for reading with my children and incorporating reading for them is um, learning about difficult topics, learning about what's happening in the world, learning empathy for other people, learning about different races, especially for my daughter. My son at a certain age, I needed to teach him about feminism, okay? I'm not a feminist all the way, but I, I have my moments. I had to teach him like certain things in his house are not, or in, in any house is not considered a woman's job or a woman's place or certain things. I had to teach him consent. Books have been tremendous in helping me talk to my kid, my son and my kids about difficult topics. There's topics out there that's really, really hard to touch, not hard to touch on, but like, um, kind of like difficult for, 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 for parents to like break, be able to break down into terms that their children would understand. Um, another thing that I have been able to teach my children is that reading can be enjoyable and reading is entertainment. Okay. I think sometimes, especially my son's age, he literally relates books to either he's in trouble or his school and my daughter's get into that age where she's learning that and I don't want that for her so I've been I able to kind of teach my because I'll be reading a book you guys and I'll get so into it I won't be paying attention to them my daughter will be like what are you doing I'm like oh I'm sorry it was really really good or I'll bust out laughing and they'll look at me like what's going on and I'm like oh this was a great paragraph I just read there was something just happened they said the character said something really funny and you know they're able to see that I'm being entertained as I'm reading I'm using my imagination and I'm being entertained so for me that's been another thing that I've turned I've I've been able to show them um, because I always want to model my the behaviors that I say to my kids I want to model it in actions but let me tell you when you teach when you get your kids to learn read at an early age you guys you are creating lifelong readers which is also increasing the chances of them being lifelong learners because when you're reading and you're learning and if you start them early they're going to be learning and reading every single day my daughter now because we're doing sight words and just incorporate learning how to read now if she sees a word in the in, like, as we're traveling if she sees a word somewhere she's she's more liable to read it now she's like duh she's sounding out words now she's only five so like i said we're only doing sight words however that's what she's going to need to be able to read and she's enjoying it and i'm making it fun like i have sight words all over the house and i have words on like the door ceiling in her room i have everything labeled so that she is able to see the words and they're coming to life and you know and so it's fun you know my son on the other hand i do reading challenges with him i just recently did a reading challenge with him and he won i, I didn't have time i'm not gonna say i let him win he won um where we went to the library and picked out books and the person that read the most books in the month one so he got a 50 that he won he, they t the person could choose whatever they wanted to read at one at their price so he chose a 50 dollar gift card for playstation of course he wanted another video game but that's okay because i know he read for that month i think he only read like four books but that's four more books that he would have read that month so for me as a parent i did something right that month i may not do everything right all the time but i did something right that month you guys okay. so let's get into a routine because i don't want to make this video too long and i want to talk about some of the books i have here okay um how i set up my routine um it was really important when i started this journey back into reading to establish a routine that was sustainable realistic and you know just focus on what I wanted to get out of it. I knew I just wanted to maybe be able to go into a quiet space and read and enjoy my books and write in the journal if I needed to. So I do it before bedtime. I do it early in the morning before the household really wakes up. My husband gets up at the crack of dawn, so he's up, but he's doing his own thing and I'm up doing my own thing. I'm journaling for the most part. I'm listening to an ebook. Um, and that's another thing. Don't be tied down by books. Books are great. I am an avid I like to feel the books. If you're a reader, you know what I'm talking about. You like to feel the books in your hands. I get it. But time, life doesn't always permit us to have a book. So 
eBooks. I have a Kindle, um, the Kindle app. I'm actually going to invest in the Kindle this year. That's one of the big purchases I'm going to make this year. And I can't wait to get like the cover and like decorate it. And so I cannot wait. And you, know, you guys, I get so excited when I talk about books, but, um, that's something that, you know, I, I always make sure I'm very much, I have taken into consideration as, as I've gotten back into my reading journey. Um, so setting up a cozy space, I always, I try to make sure that I'm, I've showered, I've relaxed, I smell good because when you smell good, you feel good and those perfumes and fumes help relax me and then I can lay in my bed as you guys just saw and I can read my book or I can journal. Some tips I would say if you're new to this or you're trying to get into this is to designate time. Find a quiet 10 minutes a day. You don't need an hour or so. You need 10 minutes a day to get a few, just a chapter in. You need, you know, five minutes a day when you're using the bathroom. Lock yourself in the bathroom. I've done that, y'all. I've locked myself in the bathroom while my daughter is busy doing something, painting her nails, doing a, a, a puzzle or something. And I have gotten down in that bathroom and I have been reading and they thought I was using the bathroom because it seems to be the only time not all the time, but sometimes that I can get some quiet time in my household. But to, you know, designate a time and a place that you can go just quietly go away and read. You know, you want to create, I, for me, it was important, like I said, to create a cozy space, but you don't need a designated space. Um, choosing your books as well, choose your books wisely. Books, what you read and when you read it is going to change your mood. Just like music, books can change your moods just like music, you guys. You can set the tone of your day, your week, your life with what books you're choosing to read. So choose your books wisely. Um, I'm very intentional with the books I read and also the books I introduce to my children at the ages I introduced it to them. So I love like learning about law and um, criminal justice system and stuff. So I'll read a news article in a second. You can Google peer review articles. So um, I will read a peer review article if there's a law that's coming into place or if I'm, you know when I do those type of readings, when I'm interviewing or when I'm applying for jobs and they're talking about a certain policy that that I'm not familiar with oh baby I will find an article and I will read because I'm going into that interview and I'm going to get that job so anyway we've talked about all these great things now let's get into books so I'm going to start off with like my journaling um I have a, I'm very big in growing my relationship with God always 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 um so the first type of books I like to pick up in the morning are my journals. And I try to end my night with them as well. I'm not perfect, you guys. I don't always do this. This is not something I'm going to say and be like, oh, I do this every day. Absolutely not. Some days I get to it. Some days I'm just barely falling into bed. But again, with any routine, consistency is key. So the first things we're going to start with are my journals. And of course, I always, my Bible is so beat up, y'all. But this Bible is so old like so old and it has like oh child i have pages highlighted i have pages um just all the things um this is the miniature one this is i have notes in here Ooh. i have notes in here i have like certain verses i want to make sure i go over um i have prayer requests in here i'm not going to show you this this is private um i have my kids um sonogram in here like when I was when I realized I was pregnant I have this sonogram because I prayed for my children you guys um it's anyway so I always have my bible I always try to read I have like verses highlighted it's it's a lot yeah so I um I always try to read a couple pages in my bible and what's been helping with that because I've been trying to get better at that so I got this book there's multiple to a multitude of apps and books out there that do the same thing this just works for me because um it just works for me you know so I I can use it what I like about this though is honestly like you guys see I highlight and stuff but what I like about it I'm trying to find one that's not like written all over it which in the beginning is usually not um but what I like about it is that you can i have notes over here that's what i'm trying to hide i don't want you guys i just it's personal um i write i do that's why i say i keep my books because i write in the margins because they're mine i want to go back and open it and read it again anyway you guys so like what i like about here is it breaks it down into like weeks and day daily readings so you can take your time you're not overwhelmed and you have that that, that five minutes i said you can read a Bible verse. You can listen to it. I also have the Bible app. Um, you can listen to it as well. Oops, sorry. I had dropped books. You can listen to it as well. Um, and when I'm reading my Bible or I'm doing journaling, I typically write in here. I typically write in here. You know, um, I write some things down because um, 
yeah, he, you know, I just, I want to be able to go back and read. I'm reading to, I'm learning and stuff like that. I usually have a pen here. I don't know where my pen is. Um, another book that I got recently, my sister actually gave me this, is this book. Everything, like I said, will be linked down below. This book, I haven't started yet, but this is going to be something that is going to be a game changer. It's, called, it's a burn after writing. So it's a reading prompt book, but then you also, you can burn it. So you literally have pages and it asks you questions. Like this says, if I could direct the Hollywood movie of my life, it would be called. Then there's another one that says the song for the beginning credits of my movie of my life would be. Um, the one thing I'm excited about, my ideal home. But you can burn these. So I want to use these when I'm doing my prayers. Because I'm going to use these as prayers that I want to burn and send up to my Lord and Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And it's only for me. I don't need anybody else coming back and reading this. So I can put anything, I can write anything on this. And I know I can release it into the atmosphere. You know? So I'm excited for that. My sister got that for me. Um, and then these are like other books I read. Um... Um, 20, what is this? 21 prayers for my husband. And I have another one is a smaller one. It's called, it's just called prayers for my husband. I'll link it as well that I read. I, I go back and forth between the two for reading for my husband because I need a godly man and it takes a godly man to stay in a relationship with me. So, and we've been together for a long time, over 20 years. So, um, and he has his own personal battles that he fights. And I always want to make sure that I'm uplifting him because Baby, we can get on each other's nerves. But also, um, this is another book I read. This is um, Prayers for a Mom's Heart. And I pray these little prayers for my children. I also have um, the other two little books that I was telling you guys about for my uh, husband. Um, I have one for each of my children. It says Prayers for a daughter and prayers for a son. Um, but I typically read this one because it's just, when I'm short on time, it encompasses both of my children. Um, but I, if I, when, when I feel like one of my children is going through something that they just need a little bit more prayer, I'll pull that out and I'll read for them. Um, this one doesn't, I don't remember if it does. Yeah, this one just basically, they're little simple prayers, guys. They're literally one minute prayers. I can say this, I can meditate on it, I can write in my journal, and I can move on. So I typically start my days with that. Now, when I'm just reading for free, okay, and just trying to just get my mind right, I pick up regular books. I read fiction, nonfiction, but right now, these are the two I've read recently, okay? Um, this one I read um, with a two two of my girlfriends. We, we just we wanted to read. I was trying to get them back into reading, so we read this. Um, it was a good book. I also read Verity recently with them. It was a good book. Um, this one I wanted to read for myself. Um, I'm not going to say the name. Clearly, you can say the name, but this book is, I'm still actually reading it. Um, my sister recommended this book. This book is like, it's like a girl chat book. It's like um, books, it's like topics that we don't, women don't talk about because it's sacred or it's secret and it's just a way of it's a self-discovery book and I'll leave it at that this is the book I'm currently I just currently picked up to read I wanted to read something fiction something easy I got it from the library I didn't even pay for it um and I just wanted something simple so I just picked this up this now we're gonna go over to what books I have incorporated with my children um like I said the type of books my children read. I'm very intentional on me, on how I pick them. Um, I, I always tailor to what they're interested in and what we can read together to like spend time together. Right now, my son is 12. Okay. Current reads of my son. Actually, some a couple of these are old and I'll get into that. My son is into Greek mythology right now. Oh my God. So run down to the comments and let me know who your favorite Greek God is because, and it's all fake. Like I just said, Savior Jesus Christ. But I am so, I love Greek mythology. I absolutely love the stories. They are folk, it's like African folklore to me. So we believe we have a lot of folklore stories. Spider, Spider is a very common character in folklore stories and I absolutely love folklore. That's what these represent to me. So my son is into Greek mythology right now. Um, so I got him this book and I just enjoy, we go through it and we just read stories um, we're not even halfway done, um, but we go through it and we, we read the stories together and we talk about it. And I remember reading this in high school and like falling in love with it. So that's the book that I read with my son. Um, and then he's also, of course, and this book, you guys, is phenomenal. You can see like the page, this is all ripped up, but it literally goes through and gives you like a backstory on 
all the characters like characters are in here that we didn't even know this is honestly this is a book that him and his dad have gone through because i'm not really into marvel or anything like that this is a book that him and his dad have really enjoyed going through and reading about this like literally gives you like backstories on them their real names and stuff like that how they became superheroes and stuff like that this book is so amazing this is called the marvel encyclopedia this is the new edition um what year was this i'm not sure so yeah like i said all the books if i can find them will be linked below okay now again like i said um i also allow my kids to just pick books so this is a book that my son just picked up and he wanted to read it i got it for him um but i'm also intentional in what books i pick for my children okay i'm raising you know african-american kids so i am representation in my household matters so i found this black comic series online i can't remember how I, I think i found him on instagram and i was able to get him like it's called black sands and it's a comic series but they have other types of books they have the girl version but it's it's above my daughter's reading level right now so i got these for my son and you guys as you can see like i promise you he read these he took them to school for um sustained style and reading time he shared it with friends and i was so in love i'm waiting for i just ordered him the second set he doesn't even know um I'm, uh, i can't remember what it's called but they're in the, there's individual stories this one was um a series so there's also individual stories about each of the character like this is a part one and a part two of this one then this is a part one and a part two of this one there's more and i just ordered them and it's coming so um, that was a series that he really enjoyed. We also, I think I just told you guys, we also did a, um, a book series together where we, um, we read this. Amazon has a lot of book series. He just read, um, trapped in a video game. That whole series we have that we did dog man when he was eight together. Um, I'll leave a lot of recommendations down. down in below. Oh my God. I just talked for like five minutes and I had ran out of memory anyway, you guys. So um, but that's enough. I've showed you enough books for my son. Now let's get into the books that I read with my daughter. Um, my daughter and I, my daughter and I read a lot more books because if you watch my vlogs, we're typically, she's attached to me. My son is mostly with his dad or he's by himself or with his friends. My daughter is only five, so she is attached to me. So we do a lot more reading together. But, um, so these, I just, I just picked like four or five books. Yeah. Five books that are like favorites of ours and we reach for it all the time because she's five she's learning about self-discovery friendship everything in the world is new to her so i want to put some things into her now that she'll take for a long long time coming and these are the books i feel like so far i mean obviously there's multitude of books out there for any subject you want to talk to your kids but i like these again representation in my house matters so um we got these two books this is yeah when she was Going through a time in school where she was just, there was, let's just say there was a girl there that was being not so nice, okay? I'll just leave it at that. Um, but I needed to teach her that it doesn't matter what other people say, you are you and you will always be you because you are an empress. That's literally her nickname, my sister names her, um, calls her empress. You're an empress and nobody can change that. So this one, I am enough and I like myself. Oh, big, big, big for me. Um, my son has, I always tell my friends, my son is a lovable a-hole. He does not give a crap what anybody thinks about him. And I say this with the most, the biggest confidence because I don't know where he got it from, but I love it. I absolutely love, my son doesn't care, adult, child, mid-age, he does not give a crap what you think about him. My daughter is not there yet, you know? I don't know how I got blessed with him. I'm, I'm grateful for it. I pray whatever I did, if I, if I had any hand in it, that I'm able to turn it, um, ooh, that's my, I'm able to now um, give my daughter that same type of confidence. And I start, and I think my books that I read with him helped. So um, we're working on that. That's a book that we read, um, Bedtime Bonnet and I Like My Hair. Or another book that we read, we try to read this because I, I got these because she refused to wear that bonnet. You <laughs> but I want to teach her um, how to love her curls. My daughter has beautiful curls, but she has kinky curls. I need it. I want to teach her how to love her curls and how to t take care of her hair and stuff. So these are really good books I absolutely love. Another book that I find us reaching for a lot. Um, we do affirmations. I do it with both of my children. But 
I don't like to do the typical affirmations, you are beautiful, you are strong. I like to do something different. So I love these. Like this one says, I will... I will forgive others. Forgiveness in my heart, because we are a Christian household and I want to teach my children to be humans. I always say I'm raising humans. I want them to learn this. I will forgive others because baby, you are not perfect and others, anybody else, mommy and daddy included. We are not perfect. This one says I am courageous. Um, my daughter's going through a page where she, I don't care. I can't do that. I don't know if I can do that. Yes, you can. I am intelligent and I enjoy learning new things. I will practice positive thinking and speaking every day. I do this so much. I will, and I, I try to model what I teach with my children. Like I'll see, if I see a, a beautiful woman in the street and she just has all her stuff and she looks put together. Oh, I'm baby. I will put that window down and be like, go off sis. Cause you look beautiful. Um, this is a, I, this is my favorite book. Oh, I love this book. I love this book. I love this book so much, you guys. I love this book. My daughter takes Dan and I wanted her to see representation. Sometimes I feel like she she just needs to know that you're not the only one. This book is so beautiful, you guys. I love this book. So anyway, you guys, um, in not to make this video too long, I just wanted to share some of these loves with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and remember, if you just want to unwind and find a moment to yourself you only need five minutes books are a great way to do that for me i hope the same for you if you're just beginning this journey join a book club you don't have to invest in all these books get a book a library card and just you know just start reading okay um i hope you guys enjoy this video check my description box for um book recommendations for um, a teenager or preteen and a, um, a, a toddler and also for adults and adult time. Um, remember to take a break and unwind and just read. Happy reading. Okay, guys. See you in the next video.